Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Moments in Manga and Anime After Dark. And that's right, we are breaching into the Omegaverse. With the boys love manga, I've become an Omega today. So if any of this is not your flavor of spice, or if you were under 18, please scroll away. And uh, yeah, I typically stay away from the Omegaverse because it's kind of a wild party. But you know, sometimes you try something new. <laughs> so just in case you don't know what's going on here, in this particular story, there are three types of humans. And this caste system is the only thing anybody ever talks about. You have the Alphas, who are just naturally good at everything and just the best. And then under them, we have the Omegas, who are allowed to get with the Alphas. And uh, apparently any gender of an Omega can give birth. Uh, I generally read boys' loves to avoid stories like that. So uh, yeah, I've got enough of my own pregnancy trauma to not even want to know how that happens. But anyway, moving on. Watching this whole animal-like, hormone-filled world from the side is the betas. We're just all the basic bitch humans. Until very recently, our boy Kanade thought he was. In your young teens, you are tested to figure out which category you fall in. Sometimes it's possible to go into heat late, and that happens to Kanade. It's a lot to take in, but uh, he's kind of thrilled because his best friend Mune Chika is an alpha. Long ago, he kind of wrote off his chances of ever getting with him. So uh, yeah, big things are happening. Uh, but of course, being a late bloomer, um, it kind of takes its toll. It's a lot to take in at once. However, Mune Chika is very supportive. Right away, he suggests that he and Kanade become mates. Apparently, the only way to become official is if an alpha bites the back of the Omega's neck. Just think of all the boys loves I've read that have half animal characters. Even they don't dig a love lore this deep. <laughs> this is wild. This is kind of where our story hits a brick wall. Because even though the two decide to sleep together to help Kanade with his hormones, Kanade can't help but think that maybe Muda Chika's just doing it to be nice. Like, you know, they've been friends so long that he kind of feels obligated. I mean, in terms with his new life, is kind of a big thing. He really feels like his friend Mune Chika is still kind of out of his league. And our boy Chika, you know, he's trying to come to terms with that too. His friend is going through a lot, and it's a lot harder on you the later you go into this. Now, even though they're friends, you know, he doesn't want to just assume that Kanade wants him. Now that he has all these options, maybe Kanade wants to look around a little bit. Uh, but like I said, being a late bloomer, it's hard on the person. Of course, you know, there's medication for that, but, uh, you know, it doesn't always work. Which makes our main character's choice to, you know, not do anything about it. Uh, it doesn't work in anybody's favor. But bestie, if anything pisses me off about this story, is that even in the world of fiction and fantasy, these men just will not fucking talk to each other. The whole damn book would literally be like a third as long if they would just fucking sit down and talk about it. They both love each other, but they drag it on. He's crazy about you, baby. Just talk to him. Anyway, for baby's first Omegaverse, it wasn't bad. In my opinion, all the weirdness was outweighed by the hotness. So if you've always been curious but didn't know where to start, this is an easy one. 